If you keep his stomach full, his balls empty, and his mind clear, you'll be fine. Mm. <laughs> Eli feeling this with the Man. pain. That's facts. <laughs> That's solid. You were interested in this man because some part of you admired his lifestyle. Money, status, education, wisdom, whatever the case may be. Do not add problems to his lifestyle. Level two, there are inherently some problems that he has either maintaining his lifestyle or scaling it, right? Mm. If you can identify those problems better than other women, make yourself a solution to those problems, you become indispensable to his lifestyle. This is a fact. These day and age, a woman wants a man that's... These days, this women, women these days want a man that's already established and all that shit. How sad. How sad. They tell you, oh, because when he gets established, he's going to dip out on me. How sad. Very sad indeed. That that's how simple and how easy your mind is if that's how you think. You know, and you wonder why the thing is not, you know, look, even with our friends, even if, 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 bro, even your enemies, if your enemy ever cut you, like, in some gang shit, like, I'm gonna use gang shit because you know I can relate to that more. And on some street shit, you got you know you got enemies and all that good stuff. This is your enemy. You might hate this nigga. That he might do some, that one time he lets you slide. You might want you might catch him lacking that. You know what I mean? You really want to do it to him type shit, but you're not gonna do it. Why? This is your enemy. You really don't like this nigga, but because you think of how he let you slide. That that you know what I'm saying? He gave you he gave you know what I'm saying? He, that he becomes now indispensable in the sense of you get for that specific moment it's like i can't even i if i'm a shiesty if you were a shiesty dude you probably do him in but if you're not a shiesty dude you're upright individual type shit you probably gonna look at it like that man did spare me like you know it's it's worth me you know what i'm saying not you know what i'm saying not not getting them. I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna get him i ain't i'm gonna let him slide he, he he let me slide that one time i'm gonna let it slide and just like that y'all build some kind of connection slide slide and there's some kind of respect right there similar thing with this situation you know i mean i mean well this one was a little bit i kind of used street shit i kind of went a little too but basically if you if you come in and help somebody you know what i'm saying whether they don't like you or not whether they st- you know whatever it is when you prove to somebody that you have this much value in you, like to, to support their life, to bless their life, even if they don't like you, they will always appreciate you. You get what I'm saying? Even if they don't like you, they're gonna always be they can, they're gonna always say it was this person that did this. That's what I was trying to get to. Even with your enemy. You know, so when your enemy does something good for you, fucks with you on that one beat, that that, that one beat time, that okay, cool. That one time you catch him lacking, you're going to be like, man, I were, man, I really want to do this nigga. Mm. But he fucked with me, though. All right, cool. I'm going to let that nigga slide. Same thing. Maybe he didn't even like you, but now he needs you. Oh, shit. Mm. He, he hears that point right But there. third, and this is where I think most women screw up. Do not, do not disrespect that man. Mm, of course. Now, <laughs> of course, there is overt disrespect. That one's easy. Like, don't call him out of his name. Don't yell at him. Don't don't assault him. Different things like that. I think where most of our women, in particular, where they mess up as far as disrespect, it's the belittling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you talk to that man? He he put it very simply. Big fact. He said, if you would not say this in this way to your supervisor if you're interested in keeping your job mm, do not facts. say this in this way to your man hey shout if you out keep to it- this shout out to these guys man because this is deep and this is on point you know if you can't talk to if you can't talk to your pastor in church your supervisor at work your boss at work your whatever you get what i'm saying why the fuck are you talking to this nigga like that? You know what I'm saying? And vice versa, the guys. You know what I'm saying? If you are a boss and all that and you can't talk to, you can't, do, you know what I'm saying? It. Why the fuck are you, you know what I'm saying? If this person was your partner as a boss, this is your partner, owns the same business as you. I'm talking about it for the guys. How the fuck would you talk to this person? Are you going to be talking that with disrespect? Don't forget they own that business right there alongside you. Shareholders. Stock, stocks. You can't talk to them disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? 
both, both, it is my whole thing. Whatever, whatever, boss, whatever, your, 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 your employee, uh, what's it called, your coworker, your boss, whatever. It doesn't really matter. The point is, you don't disrespect people, dog. You know what I'm saying? You're in the same level, and that's the thing. I, you know, when people let their emotion get to them, they just let their mouth blatter out, whatever. They, you know, just blat it out. You know what I'm saying? But of course, we need to learn to control our emotions. We need to, we need to do better. We we just we need to do better as a people, uh, as a as a race of humans, human race to be specific. You know what I'm saying? Let's take this again. His stomach full, his balls empty, and his mind clear. You'll be fine. You keep his stomach full, his balls empty, and his mind clear. His stomach full, his balls empty. No, did he? But I mean, clear. We talking about women, right? Right, this is for this is for women, right? And what his mind clear, aka peace. That shit is so important. Y- y'all don't understand, mind you. See, some men want peace, some men want activity, but all yes, ultimately peace because we're still looking for compatibility, less stress. You dig what I'm saying, bro? Once you're able to give that man that thing, bro, I promise you, you he stuck to you. Like glue. This is how niggas be going crazy over women and all that good stuff. You see a normal composed man. All of a sudden now you see, you know what I'm saying? When the when the relationship ended, everything was good. He was composed before the relationship ended. Once the relationship ended, now he looking like a wreck, a mess. You're like, yo, what the fuck happened? Because that that woman proved so to be so invaluable to him that when this shit ended, it showed. These days, bro, when niggas get out these relationship with women these days, like they don't cook, they don't clean, they don't do, they don't want to do nothing. He gets out of this shit, he don't feel like he got out of anything. He just jumps on the next thing, get, gets on the app and swipes and picks out the next thing and just keeps pushing, because nobody is showing themselves. Like the compatibility ratio is not really even there no more. Now people just matching and doing stuff just for the looks, you know, just for the activities. You, you know, you all just want to go outside. Y'all don't really want to spend time together. You don't really want to spend enough time with this person. It's all about, oh, let's go out and do this. Nah, y'all don't. That COVID happened again, y'all going to split because y'all don't know how to be just with each other. Man, there's so much stuff I could talk about, man. Let's get to this, though. <laughs> Eli, feel like this man, the That's solid. You were interested in this man because some... Part of you admired his lifestyle, money, status, education, wisdom, whatever the case may be. Do not add problems to his lifestyle. Level two, there are inherently some problems that he has either maintaining his lifestyle or scaling it, right? If you can identify those problems better than other women, make yourself a solution to those problems, you become indispensable to his lifestyle. He there, he put two levels. He said, don't add don't add bullshit to his lifestyle. You came and met him this way. Don't add bullshit to it. If anything, take away from it. Right? Don't add bullshit to this man's table. Right? He, he shouldn't add bullshit to your table neither. At all. Right? AKA, don't try to change this nigga. You came and met him this way. Don't try to now start trying to change the nigga to something that, you know what I'm saying? If you don't, if you didn't like it, don't you shouldn't have gotten with him. Now you in there, you should be trying to amplify, help amplify these things that you've seen, these good traits that you you clean, you whatever. This is in whatever form. I'm I'm just a little bit more, you know, cook and clean. I think the fundamentals are lacking today. I'm not gonna lie. That's why I'm using cook and clean. But you cook, you clean, you know what I'm saying? You're nurturing. You're not too proud or too whatever it is to, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you know, even if this nigga does not like your physical appearance, he's going to fall in love with your character. And that works a lot. I promise you it always hits. Because niggas know very well. Yes, they, like, that's how niggas fuck, like, cheating and stuff. They just hit whatever is there. But what they want to go back to, what they, what, what, mind you, this is for the cheating ass nigga. I'm saying they they hit whatever is there. But what they really want to hit, what they really want to constantly have is, Something with all the package in one, but a nigga that has the baddest chick in the on the block, I promise you, if he has a baddest chick on the block that treats him great, that treats him good, whatever it is, however his definition of good is, I, he ain't cheating. If he cheats, that just means that nigga was an idiot. 
I stand on that. Because if you have the baddest chick on the block, there's nothing really else. Like as a man, if she looks bad, you already know all the niggas is looking at your girl and going, damn, I want that. As a man, that pride is en- it's enough for you. You ain't really going, like, what, what else are you seeking type shit? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Because the people, niggas love to fuck up. Like niggas need to, niggas, niggas like to cheat upwards. You know what I'm saying? They cheat downwards when, they, when character is the issue. You know what I'm saying? Niggas cheat downwards when character is the issue, but niggas love to cheat up when it comes to appearance. If the if the if his bad chick at home is treating him like shit and this this ugly chick, quote unquote ugly, everybody's beautiful by the way, but quote unquote ugly chick is treating him better, oh he's cheating. Giving him attention. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So it's always something though. It's always mm. something. But third, and this is where I think most women screw up. Do not, do not disrespect that man. Do not disrespect him. He shouldn't disrespect you too. Don't be talking shit. When when things don't work, y'all start calling each other names. <clears throat> Women love to do that shit a lot. When things don't work, now he now he got a little dick. Now he got this. Now he his boxes his boxer sting. Now that, that, that you are washing that same stinky boxers, all that crazy shit. You weren't complaining then. Now this is that you just let your emotions just get to you. And then after all that, then when be after you don't calm down, then you wanna oh daddy, I'm sorry. Da, da, da. No, 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 no. Fuck all that. Right? You, you you don't know how to control your emotion? Okay. Because anger, you're going to say things that you don't mean for sure. Anger is going to make you say things that you don't mean, but also that just means that these all, those thoughts also have been in your mind. They might not, you, you don't mean it, but it's been also in your, you, you've thought it. That's the thing. You've thought it for sure. You might not mean it, but you've thought it for sure. Anger definitely does that. <laughs> Yeah. It's your boy Almighty. It's your boy JL. Hey, look, man, bro, talk is back, man. Back and forth. Bro, talk, bro. It's, it's bro, talk. Bro. Bro, talk. Bro, talk. Like bro, talk, bro. Bro, talk. Bro, say it with me, bro. Bro, talk. Talk. Bro, talk. Bro, the fuck is? Bro, talk, bro. Bro, bro, come on. Anyway, bro, talk. Bro, talk is back, man. You know what I'm saying? Where the homies kick back. You know what I'm saying? We chill. We talk about. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Vibes, smoke a bleezy, you know what I'm saying? Drink a soda, you know what I mean? What are we like? You said bread talk? Bread talk, bro. Bread talk. Bread talk, yeah. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, man. So, you know what I mean? Enjoy the buzz, you know what I'm saying? Kick back, you know what I'm saying?